Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the Russian Empire, a beautiful, great country. So, let's address a few comments, first of all. Apparently, uh, historically, Russia took a few provinces from here for, to make Greater Armenia, or something like that. These are Greater Armenian states, supposedly. They're owned, or... Actually, Armenia has quite a few states down here that they should be able to take. Hmm, now, instead of creating Armenia, what if... We took more states away from Turkey and added them to our collection. Well, I don't, I don't know if we can do that yet, because we still have a truce with them. Until, quite literally, two years later. It's 1905, we go to war in 1907 with them. Unless we want to just go to war with them now. But we can wait on Montenegro just a little bit, probably. Also, they did turn socialist, but eh, you know what, if we go to war now, they couldn't stop us. Let's wait, I want to wait until we can get that war justification. Uh, right now we can make a bigger army, and another thing. Because we want to dismantle the United Kingdom, what we're going to have to do is make a massive navy. What we're going to really have to do is have a massive blockade around the British Isles. That's a plan. That is the plan. We're probably not going to get there just, just in time before any major conflict breaks out. But I have decided, you know what? They are what they are. We're going to make battleships. Even though dreadnoughts are better, battleships are what we have right now. And they can still put up a pretty good fight. So... Uh, Austria, oh, you know, we keep killing you, but you just keep coming back. So, I'm not sure what's going on with you. Whatever, you know. Let's make up some more armies. You guys are looking pretty good. Uh, we're gonna make some more guys right there. And, of course, battleships, of course. Uh, Hussars. Minusk? I'm not sure where that is. Let's go take that one. One, two, three. Let's get up to... That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten-ish. Good enough. Even though that's twenty-one, whatever. Let the time go on. We've got rebels to get rid of in Africa first as well. But man, we are the master of the Balkans. That is beautiful. Liberia goes bankrupt. Better pay their debts. You can turn to defaults, better pay your debts. Atmosphere. Uh, I really don't... Is that Liberia? They're under the American protection. I'm not really interested in that for now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and we do have our little army down here trying to kill off the rest of these rebels. Rebel scum. Cool. All right now, oh, we are not making any money. Did I really want to go to war? I don't know. Maybe Let's lower this a little bit more first. The middle class isn't doing great, but you know what? Whatever. Oman wants an alliance. Oh, I think we're good, man. We're good. Gabon's not looking too bad. Spanish Gabon, or Bata, is not looking great. Yeah, we're not making a lot of money right now. Uh, let's be realistic here. I'm just going to say no. As much as we like you, Austria, <clears throat> they're probably going to be with the... They're allied with the British and the Dutch. So, they're probably going to be allied with them during the Great War, when we go to war with them. Our athletes are victorious. I love it. Good. Let's get rid of these guys. Let's expand the ports. We need more ports. And I gotta get, stop using Man of Wars. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's great to stay here. Great. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's so good. I love it. I love... Oh, oh they got coal. They have coal here? You know what? Yeah, that's probably Spain. Sure, why not? Coal, huh? I did not know they had coal here. That's actually really awesome. We have, we have rubber and coal. Actually, the RGO, 36, 44, that's not bad, that's pretty good. Yep, go ahead and do that. Even though that's not great, we're still going to do it there. And coal, rubber, you know what, if we have you there, militant socialists, what else is new? Electric gear factories, that'd be pretty good. Oh, come on, man. I have to come back up there too now. Oh, I was, oh that's why my rebel said hi. Uh, let it be for now, it's fine. Ooh, ooh actually, that's Japanese. I think. Yeah, is that... I think that's kind of a meme in HPM, because you always have, like, militant socialists rising up. That's kind of annoying. Oh, we are not doing well here. That is a lot of guys. Yeah. That is not good. That's a lot of guys. Oh, crap, that's a lot. Um, the Turkic Doctrine. Unrest within Turkestan against Russian rule has reached a boiling point. It appears the only solution is to step in and rule them directly. Should we fail to do so, we may find Turkestan soon taken from a control and turned into a target for a foreign power's military expansion. Well, I mean, you're back with us. 
I mean, there's really not much of a surprise there. We just let, we honestly let them have freedom for quite a while. I mean, you know what? I guess they didn't really want it. That's fine with me. You know, whatever. We will gladly accept you back into our nation to become great, to become wonderful. Besides, there already are some uh, Russians living here, so. And it looks like I need an oil refinery here. Great. More railroads? Yes, please. Uh, you have iron. It's, oh, you already have a steel factory. Cool. Anything else around here? Well, administrative stuff. Oh, what did I just click on? Oh, there you are. Ale? Yes, yes. Anywhere else? Yes. Oh, you got more coal. That's nice. I love coal so much. Sure, get some machine parts. Nice. And we did finish. Shift work. Great. Synthetic polymer is really good for better supply, but we can wait maybe a little bit. 20% more education efficiency. Revolt of the masses. More plurality. Not bad. Decline of the West and the Lost Generation. Uh, market structures. Oh, I need to do this. I need to unlock dreadnoughts, so. There is no contesting that. I have to have that first. Precious metals. Very nice, very nice. Uh, what are our national focuses doing? You guys are still doing craftsmen, which is actually which actually makes a lot of sense. Go ahead and build that up. I love the industrial score. Uh, so, Kharkov. Kharkov. There they are. Look at that. They have quite a bit of production here. Not as much as I'd like. I'd love more craftsmen, but that's okay. You guys are doing craftsmen up here in Moscow, actually, as well. Primorii. Primori. Moscow. Looking real nice. Some of these factories, factories have quite a bit of production, which is awesome. Keep them all up so we have a massive industrial score. I'm trying to get some more bureaucrats up here in former Baltic uh, states. Good. One, two, three, four... Uh, where else do we have people? Uh, Hispaniola and Cuba, because I'm trying to make them conservative, or at least, the, at the very least, less socialist. That'd be kind of nice, but I don't think it's really working that well. But, you know, whatever. And Hispaniola is going to take forever to, you know, pacify. And you guys are actually doing really well. Mm -hmm. Oh, forts, yes, please. Yes. Nice. If that's the case... Hmm... Actually, railroads real quick. I think we've pretty much got everything done. Uh, maybe except for that little tile. Other than that, it looks this looks pretty awesome. What do we want to do with our another focus? Look at that. A couple of transports, a couple of cruisers. I think I put you... Yeah, I put you to do that. I've set this army over there for now. One army up there. Uh, you might as well come back, maybe? St. Petersburg, perhaps? I don't want to do this. That extra guy. There's no, like, button to, like, russify the place. That'd be really cool. There's a... Well, actually, it is HPM, and I'm not, a, like, a absolute monarchy or, like, a dictatorship. Because you get a little special button to <clears throat> increase your population, your core population that you really want to get higher. Mm, let's put it like that. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with this guy. Actually, you know what? Where was that? Yeah, there you go. What am I wasting time for? Four. Get some bureaucrats there. Good. Druckies having a few problems here and there, which is good with us. It's fine with me. I don't really care. Come down there. We're going to send you guys back up north. Sounds like we're making a lot of ships, and I love it. Oh, excuse me. Thank you, and I do have a cup of Russian coffee here that's really somewhat drunk, so good stuff. Can you... Oh, no. I have to click on the boat, please. Thank you, boat. Good. And you know what? We're going to actually make a bigger army here. Incident in Cuba. Suppress this. Um, I'm going to make a bigger army here just because... Ooh, Russian Russian divisions or brigades. Uh, actually, you know what? Do that. Just because I know we're going to get attacked down here. And if I can, like, defend Wari, then that'd be great. So. Good. Ah, uh, here are the clamor of those ships. I love it. Trickmania. Great. I love Trickmania. A war to end all wars. It has become increasingly clear that we have entered a new era of unprecedented warfare. The conflicts of our time are no longer mere local issues, but instead each corner of the world. Considering the ever-increasing stakes and the terrifying impact of these hostilities on nations evolved, there is no longer any need for restraint. From now on, a great war will allow a side that is clearly winning the ability to add even more war goals. Great wars can become 
World Wars. Oh, I did not know that. I just thought they were just Great Wars. Great. And I guess the left. You become oil refineries. They got fruit. They got fruit and oil. That is definitely an interesting combo there. Opium. Everyone loves their little druggies. Waiting for time to go on so I can lower my infamy as well. Finally, Russian Alaska. Now that is good. Oh, look, there's a lot of Russians up here, actually. That's awesome. Are you guys a rally point? You guys are the rally point. You guys are just... Oh, you're guards. Well, even if I do this, you're all going to die, probably. So, good luck. Uh, Hussars. They're really not great to make at this point. But I'm just so used to making them, so... We have Canada there. That's cool. Get a little bit of coffee, maybe, perhaps. Hmm, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And look, a beautiful stack of another army. Yeah, against the Austrians, we gotta be really be sure we're ready. Yeah, Kaliz, that'd be good. And another group. Let's see. One. Oh, we're still making more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good enough. I think. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Obviously, we'll see what happens. Not sure what's going to happen, but that's okay. Ruthenia is having some major problems with communists. Oh, communists. Actually. No one has turned fascist just yet. Fascism has been discovered, but it's only 1906. We gotta have it like a big old great war to see like how bad things are really gonna happen. The the Congo, Russian Congo. Oh, we already have gear factories. That's good. We need airplane factories. But give me those steam turbine ships. I need them. I need them, boys. Good. Come over there so we can unify with that. I really need big more navies, more fleets. I mean, you can't have more navies. You can have one navy, but just a bigger fleet. Oh, look at that. Battleships. Awesome. Get as many screens. Troop ships. Those are just use the screens, in my opinion. Good. The United States of America. The French... American French Summit of 1906 is success. Good. Oh, they've improved relations. That's good for you guys. Hope we don't have to fight you guys. Aren't you allied to us or something? Hmm, Dixie and Te Texan are, you know, accepted cultures. That's great. Sure, why not? Uh... Brazil, yeah, I'll increase relations with you too. You seem like good people. Japan's doing pretty well. France is doing pretty well. The doctrine of fascism. Well, no, I did. I had to say something earlier, you know. Now they're gonna have a lot more. Oh, Jeremy Corbyn, are you born really this early? Hmm. Oh, you're level. Th Ooh, you're third in the place. It's oh, great, 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 great. So our industries eclipse by the next th two people down. Military-wise, we're doing amazing. Capital ships don't really provide much, but once we get enough, that'll be great. Actually, their army is pathetically small compared to their navy. But I'm the exact inverse. And Germany has quite a, a couple capital ships. Cool. Yeah, I am... I probably have the biggest land army there is. 336. 630. Oh, that's nice. Alright, so do we have anyone else we can maybe... Taiwan? Wait, what? Wait, what? Taiwan? Um, yeah, we definitely need to focus a little bit more on our navy, but there's there's so much you need to focus on. <sighs> just in case, I'm going to go for army NCO training, just in case we get into a war, if there's a crisis that happens or spawns. And are you guys liberal party? Forward. Uh, sure, whatever. And that's probably not helping us. A punitive expedition. Oh, we can get a protectorate. Oh, that'd be so... Oh, I gotta fix that too. God dang it. Uh... Yeah, you guys get on the boat. You guys come over here. This isn't a lot of guys. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do this real quick. Do that. Uh, that's enough guys. Hopefully. That might not be enough guys. They actually might die over here. We'll see what happens. I hope they don't. You guys like us? Oh! Oh, there you go. The Philippine Nationals are coming out. That's cool. Oh, oh god, here we go. This is the first crisis. Uh, hold on, who is Spain allied with? France. No, that's Portugal. For Portugal's allied with them. Alright guys, sorry about that, but unfortunately, OBS crashed uh, a little bit after where we left off. 
at that fade out. And now since we faded back in, let me catch you up to speed. So right now, we're in a Great War. So I noticed, for it's 1908, October 26th, 1908, that Germany and Italy were killing off the Austrians. Actually, they were fighting Montenegro as well, but Montenegro already peaced out. Austria's not having a good time, but Germany and Italy are walloping the UK and the Austrians. Which, you know what, I said, let's just go ahead and go to war as well. Let's see what happens. So, apparently the Serbs, they want to go to war with Austria, so they get Vojvodina, which I don't think I allied with. I allied with them, but I told them no, I think. Regardless, we're in the middle of a great war. Also, I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but I took over Taiwan because they were liberated from Japan when that happened, so uh, I have Taiwan now. Cool. I just really wish OBS didn't crash. Oh well. Things happen, right? So, let's go ahead and do this event so we can rename St. Petersburg because we joined the Great War. The war with the Germans rage on and on, and our government has a proposal to rename the city of St. Petersburg to Petrograd, meaning Peter City, to remove the German words Sankt and Berg. Which, honestly, doesn't make any sense since we're actually allied with the Germans and we're fighting the British, so we could lose war exhaustion, but. Hmm. Yeah, we might as well. I don't think they're really going to come into Russia. I could be wrong, though. But right now, we could declare a state of emergency. That'd be kind of fun. But we don't need to do that. And I did make a little bit of fleet. Four battleships. And that's why I said it's time to get out and start rambling with these guys. Because honestly, Austria's already dead. So, that only makes sense. Oh, hold on. Let's see what happens. Obviously, we don't have nearly as many techs as they do. What are they using? Troops? Cruisers? Troopers? Cruisers? 44 ships? Uh, we have a cap, a uh, commander, and they do not. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, that makes that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's rebels. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a, some of these colonies here. What happened to my? Why are you over here? No, 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 no. This is. Ooh, that's not good. Hey, look at that. That's not bad though. Let's grab some more naval stuff. Yeah, I, going to war with the British is not a great idea. Sometimes, but it is what it is. Oh, I might not get worried. Why? 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 Is it, I have too many guys here? Pull out two infantry. Artillery, then. Stay at war. I need worry still. And get on the boat. Come on, get on the boat. Get on the boat. Oh, crap. Well, these guys are going to die. Clipper transports. Yeah. Don't get on the boat. Don't get on the boat. Enemy of my enemy. What does that say? Now that we are in a state of total war, the idea has risen that the Russian Empire should approach the UK's enemies to see their, those who join our side against them. This may mean an unholy alliance with those who might never fight at our side otherwise, but the old saying goes, the enemy, of my, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. If we are to win the war against the UK, we may have to take it to heart. We don't need more allies. Oh, do it. Oh yeah, we received word from Carl of Spain that they've agreed to an alliance. Whether or not they will actually live up to that alliance and join us in the war remains to be seen. Oh, Austria is peaced out. Oh, Banat. Are you kidding me? Bonat is here now. Oh, and the Germans took Lower Silesia. Oh, that's a disgusting Austria. That's so disgusting. That's fine, that's fine, you know, whatever. You guys stay there. If we can't keep the Oh. The war of a German German aggression. What what are you doing, man? We are we're in the Great War against those guys, that's fine, you know, whatever. Force the UK to dis Oh no, the Germans might get colonies and stuff. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, I can... I guess. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. Okay, well, you know what? If the Germans get the colonies, that's better than the UK. I really want to see the UK dismantled. However, the Germans are becoming very powerful. And I don't want to see them get all their colonies. That'd be really too powerful, which we might have to kill them. Or just use them. And get other colonies, like the French colonies. That wouldn't be bad. That probably wouldn't be too bad, actually. So just hold on to this port here. They have a lot of... Yeah, don't do rebels anymore. Just stay here. Oh, and build up the naval port. And do you want to get back down here? Nice. You guys aren't doing too bad. Go ahead and repair and take on four more cruisers. Nice. Are we in... Oh, we're... How many people are in the war against the UK? Holy cow. Ruthenia, Sweden, Denmark... Banat, Russian Empire, Italy. Oh, yeah. Another cruiser? Sure, thanks you, thank you. Yes, Ruthenia, yes. Now, I might eventually have to contain the Germans. I don't know if I'll be able to, though. Oh, yeah, look at this. What are they using? What ships are they using, my friends? 
And even though I still would like to go to war with um, the Turks, this is much more important. A cruiser. Oh, an illustrious battleship. Ah, war is upon us. The Russian Empire is in a state of total war with one of the great powers of the world, or the greatest power. In a modern age where warfare has the capability of killing millions, the very future of our nation could be at stake. The call has gone out to the Russian people. Put aside your petty differences, your day-to-day -day lies, and your personal ambitions. The Russian Empire must put together, pull together, in this, our hour of steel. Of need. Our, our hour of need. Jingoism, more total... Oh, we get total war. Less population growth, less immigrant attraction. Great. Um... Oh, yeah, they're so that they're socialists. The war's not going well enough. They would not accept. Are we a leader? Oh, no, we're not. Germany's leader. Oh, I really don't want them to get those colonies. Oh, we're fighting Canada and all sorts of Indian states. Morocco, Ireland. Hmm. Oh. Oh, boy. I did not realize I had such a huge. I didn't know I actually shared a border with them down here. That's news to me. And that's not a bad thing, maybe. That might be a really bad thing, though. Oh, good. You guys can combine here. Combine, and then take their stuff. Port Arthur's under siege, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. You know what, actually? I'm pulling you off. You're coming down here, man. You're going to have to get rid of some of these uh, folks down there. Come on, try to take this port. I dare you, UK. I dare you. As they're smashing the hell out of your ships. We lose a few troop transports. That's what they're there for. Uh, Vasily, good dice roll. Good dice roll, my friends. Good dice roll. Uh, cool. Oh, we're not doing... Oh, hold on. Level of organization is really low. Even though it says that... Oh, we sunk nine enemy ships. We lost four. Let's see, you guys. We still got a good amount of ships. That's great. Get another cruiser there. Can we get any more battle... Oh, level five? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, give me those level five ports. I gotta have them. And these guys are just for there for transport, like... They're just like man of wars and frigates. That's not good enough. Yo, know, good. We're building battleships so we can maybe make some dreadnoughts as well. Before we do anything else, let's double check this. Oh, that's a naval base there? Huh. Good. Yeah, I really don't want to see Germany get all those colonial empires. That might be way too overextending themselves, which wouldn't be good for them, but it's honestly really hard to stop the German Empire once they get going, because. Uh, I guess you might as well do that. If anything, if they get all the colonies, you know what, so be it. I might be able... It depends on... I don't know what actually is going to happen, since I've never actually done this and tried to dismantle, dismantle them. Go to, oh, yeah, they lost a lot of guys. That's good, but... That's pretty much it. Combine, attack, good. Anywhere else? Port Arthur. So my goal is to siege you down. Or blockade to the best of my abilities. The UK. As long as the UK dies, and we're still allied with Germany, that's that's pretty much what mostly matters. Now, I'm sure they're taking out Alaska right now. Oh, there's a port. There's a place where we can build a port. Great. What is that? Turkey? What type of fl what the flag is that? Come up there, please. Thank you. This is going to cost us a lot of money. We need just a little bit more taxes, my friends. Everyone needs to pay their fair share. Maybe lower the bureaucracy by a little bit. I helped us with a little bit of money. Nice. Are you guys fighting? No, you're not. Can I call you into the war? No. We're not leaders of the war. So be it. Alright. Not bad. Cool. Patriot Society. Shut it down. We can't deal with that right now. We have to go through Afghanistan for this? Hmm. Oh, we're fighting quite a few people. Oh, we're at war in Norway. I didn't realize we were at war in Norway, too. Oh, that's good. That's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. Ship-wise... Ooh, go ahead and help them out here. The more ships we can destroy that way, the better. Uh, I don't want to move that army in St. Petersburg. You guys are going to come up here, though. Uh, can you guys come... Go, go up that way. See if you can. Oh, we lost quite a few guys. Where was that? Looks maybe Africa, maybe? Orisund, good. Destroy everything they have. Oh, we're losing some ships. That probably some, the Dutch, the Dutch, the Danish ships. Oh, Nejed, UAE, Catalonia. Oh yeah, sink them. Oh look at that. More things. All rights allowed. More healthcare. More healthcare. 
Oh, look at that. Battle of Orison. I really need to heal my ships, guys. Or at least, eh, maybe not too much. I wonder if we can find some more enemy ships around here. Oh, there go some Norwegian ships. Hello. <laughs> nice. Oh, that helped our naval organization. Let's grab some naval statistics, supply range, weapon platforms, naval risk management. We gotta make sure our navy's tip top. Swedes are there, great. You guys merge together some more. As we're gonna slowly be losing in Africa. Unfortunate, I know. But it is what it is. Oh, boy, I need to pay attention to this quite a bit more. Oh, they're. We ain't doing so well down here. Great, more population growth. Oh, they're throwing in so many men. So many men. They're not even losing that many guys. Why are you taking so long to move? I know it's a bad location here. Oh, we have it. Well, duh, we have no railroads. And, but we are defending in the mountains, so. Come on, move, 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 move. Oh, they're. No! Go right there. We should be able to win this battle. We should slaughter them by the thousands. They are attacking mountains. Yeah. Oh, do they have they have gas attack? Oh, I don't have gas defense. They have gas attack. Oh, we are killing them by the thousands, hopefully. Alright. Cool. Very cool. Where are my guys? Oh, oh, I got it, got it. Nice. Hey, look! British ships! Fighting on three continents is definitely an experience. Yeah, uh, keep them ignorant, that's fine. Yeah, I don't, we're definitely not going to win there. It just makes sense, yeah. Mm, definitely not going to win there either. Go ahead and just... It's, it's unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Oh, we can maybe build up the railroads here too, that's kind of nice. Uh, make you do that. You, actually, if anything... That is mountain forests, grasslands. The best place to defend is really right there. Let's see. No more. No more. Two, one, two. We need one, at least one more artillery piece. Throw another of those guys. That'd be great. We're slowly losing money. Oh, they threw in so many guys here. Holy cow. Orisund. Very good, very good. Uh, you might as well blockade them. Wargold, nothing yet. UK and her entire empire fighting us here. Do I have any other soldiers I can use? Pull the ones from China. I don't really plan on going to war with China anytime soon. Yeah, pull off these. Uh, pull off this one and then this one. They just lost a thousand. Six hundred. Oh, we're losing quite a few guys too. They got gas attacked, but the mountains really aren't helping them. Wait, what happened here? Mm, oh, more, people, more and more people are being pieced out, which is nice. As long as we don't lose, that's the main thing. Also, Montenegro's fascist, so. I thought I'd just let you guys know. Serbia? Oh, they humiliated Serbia. Interesting, interesting. Oh, what are you... What? Where did you guys come from? What the heck? Huh. No, please don't lose this battle. Oh, they're dropping. Oh, we can use... Oh, we can defend against gas attack. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. That's great. They get no more gas attack. Now they have to fight us without gassing us. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Gas those British. Norway. Dismantle construction. Nice. Very good. I'm going to turn these guys to home so I can repair these guys because they could probably use some repairs. And let you guys come down home to there. Still want to take out Turkey eventually. Oh! They're socialist still. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Two armies here, kind of hanging out, having a good time with each other. See what happens. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Throw in more guys to defend. They're still doing a pretty good amount of damage, but we're. Th Literally killing thousands by the day. Well, at least hundreds now. 
Oh, that's good. They got a really good dice roll. Come on. Oh, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, they're, oh my goodness, this is good. Yes, yes, yes. Take you guys. I'm taking the 30,000 sack. Come to Galette, whatever, however you pronounce that. We're going to start sieging down India. Russian Alaska looks pretty bad, but you know, it is what it is. And how's the Navy? They still have little task forces around here. Good. Oh, boy, that's a big task force. Ooh, can we... Oh, we might not be able to fight that. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Oh, where'd they go? They're hiding. I'm gonna keep you guys stationed right there. Great. Get even more organization. That'll help us out. Good. We will not allow them into the sea anymore. Oh, God. Yes, yes, yes. Pound away, my boys. Pound away. Expedition. Let's do it again. Just don't get killed by the British. Oh, they're throwing in more boys. Oh, that's not a good idea. Oh, my goodness. Lockout. Hey, that's unconstitutional. Go ahead and do that. Oh, look at that. Yes. Good health care. Joss. Wait, hold on. Where was the Battle of Joss? I'm not really sure where the Battle of Joss was. Oh, the Germans are down here to help me out. That's good. Kind of. I mean, honestly, you probably might be able to kill these guys off. Maybe, yeah. We should have enough soldiers to kill them off there. Let's not forget, though. I just want to make more armies. So you need one artillery and two infantry. Oh crap! Oh no 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 no! That's too much. That's a that's a bit too much. As much as I'd love to make you now, that looks good. You can all do that. Good. Throw another ship in there. Another cruiser. And you know what? Another battleship. Speak softly, carry a big stick. Speak softly for now. That'd be fine. Oh my goodness. Nice. Very good. Very good. Come up there too. It's it's a little annoying trying to orchestrate everything around here, but that's okay. It's all for a good cause. I wonder how much war score we're going to get out of this. Great. Oh, okay. So less conservative support. So be it. So be it. And then we have bolt action rifle armaments. Oh, even more attack. That's awesome. We're only blockading in there, which doesn't do very much. But we'll see what happens. We will always see what happens. We've got some rebels in Greece, so be it. How's this looking? Not bad. I'm really concerned about this battle, though. Oh boy, we got attacked here. Do we have any other armies? Alright, I'm playing you both now. Oh yeah, we're losing a couple guys here. They're not losing as many men as the British are. Oh, oh no, we, we might win here. Oh, that's why you don't want to attack in amounts. Oh, we're going to win. Oh, God, we're both good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The only way I attack in amounts is if I have absolute overwhelming support. And even then, I might not do it. Keep an eye on F. Oh, my goodness. Germany. Uh, could use a little bit more help here. That'd be great. I'm glad I looked over here. That's really good. And all of the British allies have decided not to do anything. Good. Actually... Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Can we get some guys into Britain? Oh my... Oh. Yes. Yes. As long as the ships hold there, we should do okay. Um, can I get military access through Belgium? No. Yes. I really don't want to sacrifice everyone, but... uh. <clears throat> We gotta finish this war before we go bankrupt or start taking out lots of loans. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. 
Oh, wow. We're really fighting down to the last man. Oh, my goodness. Can we do anything else? Can I hit a war goal? I cannot. I don't know about these guys, but the war's going pretty well for us. Catalonia. Great. Look at this. I, I, I really want to see the score after this and see how many men have died. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, almost pretty much everyone who's fought in this battle is going to die. Go ahead and do that again. That's fine. I'm definitely going to have to mitigate this just a little bit more. I really don't like doing that. It's a little bit more strain on, on our economy, but I have to do it. Oh, my God. We've lost 46,000 Russians in the Battle of Chitral, but the British have lost over a third of a million, giving a 62 war score. Don't tell me that this is not enough. How is it? What? What? No. No. Propose peace. Negotiating for ourselves. Great war capitulation. Hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good to see that. Yes. Their military might does nothing now. Uh, you guys are... Holy cow, that's a lot of experience. You guys come back up there. I'm probably going to make a mistake here and attack someone by accident. Oh, good, they're still fighting. Oh, my goodness. Uh... Oh, that's not good. Are we... Oh, we might be attacking there. Go ahead and retreat if we can. See, this is what I was talking about. Attacking by accident. That was a great thing. Too much attrition here. Supply should be good enough for that. those guys. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Alright, that's okay, that's okay. Just need a minor retreat for now. Oh, we killed off another 180,000 men. Oh, the British are done. The Brits are done. Great. Get the guys on here, get them over the straight and I'm gonna take attack that fleet next this is gonna be a dangerous battle which we probably won't win since they got ships right there hmm they cornered me oh Austria um national confusion Vaterlicia front something tells me well they turned fascist where else have I seen this before oh they've got some ships here huh I don't think Ironclads could really kill them off, but we'll see what happens. Oh my goodness, the fall of India. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, who's attacking them? So, oh, Sweden's here too? Nice. Cholera, qu quarantine the province. Wait, no, what, what, what happened? What happened? What? We were doing so well. Austrian fascists, cool. Uh, Force Germany to dismantle their empire. 16 times Great War Capitulation, and they got a little bit of that. Okay, well, I mean, we wanted to dismantle them, but, uh, that's, that's kind of okay. That's kind of okay with me, just because I really want to make sure we could focus on our Navy for the next time, and this is probably going to break the UK for the rest of the game. They're probably never going to be able to recover from this. We've got to double and make sure that we don't piss off the Germans, because they're looking pretty flippin' mighty here. I'm going to let you guys go there. Great. And you know what? Our navy was created just for that, and it's proved to be very, very good. Oh, my goodness. Now, please don't let Germany get all those colonies. I would like some colonies, too, man. Do we have any socialists? No? Good, 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 good. Mm, we're going to need some bigger boats here, too. Let's go ahead and disable this. I'm going to need some more troop transports for this group. Gonna create that. Uh, not clipper transports. Troop ships. Cool. Let's make more. You can go ahead and put some cruisers on them too. That actually would probably be a good idea. Steam frigate. Huh. Steam frigate. Cool. Cool. Well, we won. We won the first Great War, my friends. That was. That was intense, especially over here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna keep one of you guys over here. Send you guys back to China over here. Um, we've killed over half a million British folks because of that, like the few battles. These guys are experienced. That's amazing. Hmm. 
Do I have guys anywhere else? Yeah, you're right there. Oh, I got four armies here, Jesus. Um, one right there. I'm gonna send you to the Turks. Next time, I'm gonna make sure that we go to war. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look! 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 Ah, oh, that military power is number one. We are number one in the world, my friends. Number one. Love it. The war is over. With the war finished, Russian people have taken to the streets of Petrograd in celebration. The toll of the war has been heavy, but today, the Russian Empire is simply happy to be at peace. Yes, we get a lot of war exhaustion. Wow, that's okay. The goal was to not lose, and the goal was also to dismantle the German—not the German Empire, but the British Empire. Which hopefully they'll lose that eventually too. Maybe. I mean, at this point, because of what has just happened. The British aren't going to do, be doing really well anymore, hopefully. And if that's the case, hopefully they flip governments like a whole bunch. That is my hope. But maybe we should start making some money first. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Thank you, Belgium. I appreciate you. Oh, look at that, Montenegro. And I would like... Well, first of all, we've got to lower our war exhaustion. And secondly, lower our infamy. And thirdly, then go to war with Turkey. Or maybe not. Oh, maybe we can't go to... Oh, I can't go to war with Turkey. I am disappointed. Hmm. Well, maybe not yet. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Just lower our war exhaustion first. That's probably the most important thing. This is a lot of guys here. But we're going to end today's episode because this video has gone on long enough. I hope you enjoyed the first Great War, even though it was kind of abrupt for us just because of the way things were happening. But anyways, like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we watch as me and Germany basically kind of rule over the old world. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.